Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. Today's video we are going to discuss what is nitrogen rule in mass spectrometry. These are the examples that we are going to understand. So nitrogen rule is very simple. There are two cases. One is if the M plus value that is molecular ion peak. Okay, molecular ion peak. How do you calculate molecular ion peak? You calculate by finding out its molecular mass or molar mass. Okay, that is the same value as molecular ion peak that we had seen in the last video. Okay, so if the molecular ion peak is its value is E1, okay, then the number of nitrogen is also E1. That is, it will be E1 means zero. It is either absent. Okay, it is either absent or there are even number of hydrogens that are present 2, 4, 6 and so on. Okay, and the other case is if the M plus value or molecular ion peak molecular ion peak is odd then the value of N is also odd. That is the number of nitrogens will be 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. Okay, now let us understand this with the help of some examples. First is aniline. What is aniline? Benzene with NH2 group. And the remaining, all the carbons of the benzene ring, they are forming three bonds. So there will be one, one hydrogen. The first step is we have to write down its molecular formula. Okay, what is molecular formula? It gives information about the total number of atoms. So total there are how many carbons? Let us count that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So there are 6 carbons. There are how many hydrogens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 2, 7 hydrogen. And there is 1 nitrogen. Okay, for finding out the, uh, now we have to find out the molecular weight. That will be the value of M plus. For that we have to remember some atomic masses like hydrogen is 1, carbon is 12. Nitrogen is 14, oxygen is 16. This four atomic masses, if you remember, that is it. Yes, there are six carbons, so six into atomic mass of carbon is 12. Plus, there are seven hydrogen into atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. Plus, there is one nitrogen into atomic mass of 14. So, 12, 6 are 72, plus 7, plus 14. How much this comes out to be? 93. Now this ends with the odd value. So this is what this is odd. Okay, so M plus value is odd. So what will be the number of nitrogen? Number of nitrogen should also be odd. That is there are how many nitrogens that are present? One. So that is what that is a odd value. Hence the nitrogen rule is satisfied or is followed. Now let us see the next compound pyrazine. What is pyrazine? Let us see. This is what this is benzene. Okay, if I add one nitrogen as the heteroatom, it will become what it is pyridine. If this for pyridine also, you can find out the molecular weight. You will see that it will be odd because it has only one nitrogen that is odd. And what is pyrazine? If there are two nitrogen atoms, then it is pyrazine. Okay, here there are how many? Uh, these four are hydrogens. First, we have to find out the molecular formula. There are how many carbons? Carbons are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 carbons. How many hydrogens? 1, 2, 3, 4. And then there is nitrogen. How many nitrogens? 1 and 2. Okay, so now we can find out its molecular weight or M plus value. That will be there are 4 carbon. 4 into atomic mass of carbon is 12. Plus 4 into atomic mass of hydrogen 1 plus 2 nitrogen atoms. So 2 into atomic mass of nitrogen 14. So 12 for the 48 plus 4 plus 14 to the 28. Okay, so this will be how much? This comes out to be 80. Now this is E1 value. Right? So the nitrogen should be even. How many nitrogen atoms are present? 2. 2 is also even. Nitrogen rule is satisfied. Now last is 246 trinitroanilin. So let us first draw aniline. 
okay this is aniline then 2 4 6 so how do you number this 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so at the second position there is nitro group nitro means no2 group second position there is nitro fourth position there is nitro and sixth position there is nitro the remaining positions there is hydrogen okay so total there are how many carbons there are six carbon of the benzene ring there are how many hydrogens one two two plus two four so four hydrogen how many nitrogen one two three four four nitrogen how many oxygens two four six six oxygen so now we can find out the molecular weight that is the m plus value so 6 into carbon atomic mass is 12 plus 4 into hydrogen is 1 4 into nitrogen is 14 plus 6 into oxygen is 16 so this is 12 6 is 72 plus 4 plus 14 4 is 36 plus 16 4 is 64 this will be this comes out to be 228 so this is the 8 so it is E1 so number of nitrogen should also be even there are how many nitrogen 4 so also okay, so here also nitrogen rule is satisfied i hope you have understood what is nitrogen rule thank you so much